What if you want to add a screenshot into a PowerPoint presentation? Well, if you're using a Mac, you need to do a screen grab there and then insert it in. And I do actually have a tutorial for doing screen grabs on a Mac. Here on Windows, you could press the Print Screen button and then just copy and paste it in. However, there's a feature built in to the PowerPoint on Windows that allows you to do this. I'm here on the Insert menu. I'm actually going to get a new slide. I'm just going to get a new blank slide and I'm going to insert one in. You can see down the bottom I've got some things open like Firefox, PowerPoint, Excel. And what I want to do is take one of those. So what I do is I go to Screenshot here and you can see the available windows. What that's going to do is it's going to do the whole window, so the whole application. So if it was to choose the one for Excel, it takes everything that it sees in Excel. I can then resize it and I can also, I'm here in the picture tools as well, and what I can do is go across to here, I can click on crop and then I can choose that and then when I click on it again, it's just got that. I can then resize it again, move it around. Let me just get rid of that. I'm going to just press delete. I can go back to insert here, go to screenshots, and I could also get this one here, which is the website. So that's the Firefox one. So you can see it's put that in. And again, I could crop and I'm just going to delete it. I need to go back to insert. Every time I get rid of that, it's taking me back to the home tab on the ribbon. So on the screenshots, one thing you'll notice is this one here is to the left. That's the one that is the most recently opened one, the one that I've most recently looked at before going to PowerPoint. If I go to Excel and then go back here, go to my screenshot, you'll see the Excel one is there. And this is really useful to know because you can actually use this screen clipping here. And if I click on that, you'll see in a moment, it will sort of go a bit sort of grayed out the screen, a bit milky in color. And I've got this crosshair and it now allows me to choose just a section like that. Now, what it did is it went to the one that I had most recently opened before going to PowerPoint. And that's why I showed you that. So if I was to now go to Firefox, then go to PowerPoint. Let's just get rid of this. Oh, by the way, you could have more than one. So let's put another one in here. Go to Inserts, go to Screenshots. Now you'll see it's the PowerPoint one. So if I go to Screen Clipping, I could just, you have to wait a moment for it to catch up. When the crosshair is there and the screen's got a little bit milky in color, you can just choose that and then resize it. So with the Screen Clipping, first thing you want to do Go to the application you want to capture, then go back to PowerPoint and then insert it in. So that's how you can easily put a screenshot into PowerPoint.